Hola, hola, ah, uh, hola, how are you? I'm so glad to see you in this competition. Like, it just makes, uh, it just, I, I'm so happy that you're here and you're putting out your pieces and it's great. Um, all right, your feedback. Um, actually, something with Maddie as well. Because you guys filmed similarly, like at center ice and like filmed it around like that. Tell Maddie that that's a great idea and that you guys like totally like, reinvented the wheel on stationary camera work. Like, really, really well done, I love it. Um, so, the, um, I loved the uh, the initial framing of, you had the focus of cloth and skater on, like, an, it was equally framed. And they were, you know, you could tell that the skater and the prop were just equally as important as each other. And like, that's what the piece was about. Um, I loved how it interacted with the camera, like at the beginning, how like, uh, it, it was very clear what you were doing. Like it, I, I didn't have to squint to see her, like she was she was doing some really, really lovely things. And I loved the introduction of the new character. The way that he skated into frame was appropriate. It was, it was well-timed and that was great. Um, from his solo though, I did kind of lose um, I, I, I sort of lost it a little bit. I lost the vibe. I lost the feeling a little bit. I'm not sure if, like, I think he was just, I, I don't know if it was, like, trying to do too much with the prop or, uh, it, it, it just lost me for a little bit. Um, loved the leg catch with, um, with the girl. That was great. Um, I loved how he laid it down and Richie just came in and then swooped and grabbed it because I have a big problem with handoffs. Like when you have a prop and it's just like, here you go, okay, thank you. You know, I don't, unless it's kind of like a big gesture of I'm giving this to you, but if it's like, we have to have this in our hands to do this next transition, that's kind of like, it, it's it's a, it's a little basic. Like when you, you're you just giving it some to somebody and then somebody has to sort of grab it. Um, so you wanna make sure that it's like, you know, the arm comes around here and then going here and then they meet together and that's when there's that thing. So you don't want it to be like, clot, you know, that sort of thing. Um, the same thing sort of happened when he sort of placed it on his mouth. He was, it was kind of like, I'm currently going to place it on my mouth, like rather than, hmm, you know, like, and then getting the hands away, like as soon as it hits the mouth or like here and then, you know, pushing the face in, it, it was kind of like, I'm going to put this on my mouth and then that's, you, you know, that sort of a thing. So like try to make it like a little bit more, um, more of a flow into it. So that it like sort of weaves in like that. Um, putting the arms through the, uh, through the dress for her was a bit forced. It's sort of the same idea as like him getting the mouth on. Like you want, like as she's coming over here, she wants to like move, move, move. It kind of looked like I am now putting my arms through this thing. So you want to make it look like choreography rather than, um, what was it, Ikea instructions, like to, you know, for the next step. Um, and that's sort of when the piece lost a little bit, mo uh, and the piece lost a, a little bit of its momentum when she was blindfolded. It was kind of, um, it, it, it was a there for a little bit too long. Like she was here, 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 and the movement started looking very similar and it just lasted for a little bit too long. Um, so uh, I actually dinged Maddie a little bit on a fade out. I'm not a huge fan of fade outs, but with yours, it kind of worked um, because of the movement, because of how it ended. So I'm actually like, I was actually okay with this fade out. Like I thought it was great. Um, so uh, really, really well done. Um, my final three questions was the prop the hero of this piece yes it was 100 percent, definitely um could the number have survived without the prop no couldn't mm -mm. so that was great well done and did it change the skating yes it did so really really well done really great work ola um for this challenge i gave you a 12.5 all right great all right thanks ola and good luck for the rest of your challenges and yeah uh, have great skating numbers.